We've got a couple that. of things in front of us, and some of them are actually not so good as well. Right? Yes. Okay. But before, the last thing, Heather, I want to tell you, the okay. microwave, if you're going to use it, which people still are, only heat up in glass. That is probably the most okay. important thing. If you're going to use the microwave, do These not use right plastic. Yes. So glass, and maybe just try to do a couple times a week as opposed to yes. every day. Yeah, got just it. cut back. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about cookware. Teflon. A lot of people have Teflon at home, and that's a branded name, and it's really for... Non-stick. Non-stick, mm -hmm. thank you. And so when you heat up Teflon to 300 degrees, it releases 15 different toxic gases. They're oh, actually awesome. <laughs> going to stop making it in 2015 because of this. Okay. So when you use Teflon, right, never, ever, ever use metal with it. Right, because you don't want to scrape it. You'll release all those gases. If so you you're talking see, about your cooking utensils. You're not going to use a spatula that's metal. Exactly. Okay. And, you, and never cut directly. And you see this pan has cut marks. Right, right. You know, if you made brownies or something like that, you're going to release all of that. Okay, so, makes sense. So no Teflon. Okay. But the easiest, cheapest is probably stainless steel. You okay. can get an entire set for under $200 at Costco for stainless steel. And That's um, a really good price, the whole set. It's a good price. Okay. So you just have to learn how to cook with it and use more oil. Right? Distribute heat. And okay. then you have cast iron here. And I know, you know what? People are going to look at this and they're going to say, I do not want to clean that. Is there a trick to cleaning something like that? Yeah, you have to keep the heat on. If you take the heat off of it, then the stuff will burn on and you have to okay. season it. So you have to rub it with oil when you're done cooking it and leave it like that. You don't actually gotcha. wash it. Okay. And then the in between, but okay. it's the most expensive, my favorite, these Le Creuset. These are enameled cast iron, so it's a combination I'm between. On the inside here. Yes, combination. Okay. See, you see, it's, it's cast iron and stainless steel combo, because then it's still smooth because you said these are can be a pain to clean. I was gonna right? say that looks a lot better to clean. I'm gonna take a look. That one looks about the same. So same They're old stuff. Same. And it's a pretty color. So I <laughs> love more that fun color. to cook, right? No, I All agree right. With uh, you. Any last minute tips for us about the microwave and, and this? Is it like kind of set yourself up? Make sure you're going to the grocery store getting fresh food, right? And then number two, just give yourself a little bit more time. If you have kids, this could be kind of a big deal as opposed to nuking something deal. in the microwave. You just have to get used to it, or maybe at least once a day commit to heating something up on the stove instead okay. of the microwave. Just do a little bit better. It doesn't have to be a radical change. Okay, I like mm -hmm. it. Well, for more information, get in touch with Krista at The Whole Journey, and her practice is located in Encinitas. You can also visit her on her blog. We put all of that up on fox5sandiego.com.